A new nonprofit says it wants to help support veterans who have substance use disorders, mental illness, and homelessness. The Patriot Recovery, Re Recovery Residences is about to open its first sober living home in Cedar Rapids. It's called the Patriot. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tavik spoke to the founders about why this resource is needed in Eastern Iowa in tonight's Show You Care Spotlight. Each room is pretty standard. It's got TV, bed, dressers. Jeremy Lutheran and Tiffany Bauer have furnished each room in the Cedar Rapids home, ready to open the doors to possible renters. Uh, so obviously a nightstand, lamp, bed. But the uh, tenants living stuff. here will be veterans recovering from substance abuse, homelessness, and mental illness. It's kind of a safe, secure place to, uh, to kind of try to rebuild your life if it's getting out of, out of hand. There are 13 rooms in total. Eight will house men and five will house women. The veterans coming here will have already completed recovery and come here sober for a short stay. Rent will be $500 a month. It's a resource the two say they've seen a need for in the area. We're just trying to make a safe place for someone to come and, you know, just get their heart right, get their mind right. After 20 years serving in the military, Lutheran says opening a sober living house for veterans wasn't something he envisioned. I have an avionics background. I assumed I'd, I'd go to Rockwell Collins, probably get a job there. But after his own struggles with alcohol and mental illness, he knew he had to do something. A lot of people kind of lose lose their sense of uh, purpose after they uh, separate from the military. Um, and then if family, family issues arise, it just kind of seems like they don't have anybody, you can just kind of turn to whatever works. It was heartbreaking, just knowing that he's such a good man. Um, and he has such a giver's heart. Lutheran says opening this house and offering these resources is just one way he can make sure other veterans won't have to go through the same hardships he has. After you get lost in, in substance abuse and mental health issues, you just gotta, it's hard to kind of pull yourself out of it. The two are still waiting to receive the paperwork for the 501c3 status before they can officially open. But he says this is a way of giving back to those who served. I guess just knowing I'm capable of helping out uh, kind of makes me responsible to, to help people out. Just got to show people that they're still good in the world and you care about them. In Cedar Rapids, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.